Hello, and welcome back to the Vogel Studio Brookhaven Tutorial Series. This video I'm going to be making an advanced car system, so if, um, if you don't know how to make a car, make sure you go see that video on my playlist. If you haven't already done this, go back to the playlist and do this car. So you're going to have to have a base, you're, you're going to have to have a basis, which I have here. So um, if you um, if you followed my other tutorial, if you go up to the Dave leadership man, he, it will take you to a GUI, so we're just going to open that GUI now. And in here, we're just going to go into the frame, start a car, and inside the buy button, we're going to do script, dot parent, dot parent, dot purchased, dot value equals Actually, this needs to be if this is false, then set that to true and script dot parent dot text equals respawn and then I don't know maybe two fifty or something like that. But then we're just going to do else as if Okay, I think we should try and test this out. Okay, so here if we just go by car, as you can see, it's it's spawned out here. And then if we want to go respawn car. Okay, and then so it respawns it, but now we just want to get rid of the original car. Okay, so we're going to go into replicator storage and we're going to add in a remote event. This is gonna be called respawn car. There we are. Now we're going to go to the leader stats script, and we're going to add it down here. So um, game dot storage wait for child respawn car dot on server event connect to function player and then name of car. And local car equals game dot server storage dot cars find first child name of car clone actually take that back we're gonna go to game dot workspace wait for child name of car Actually, um, just to make this a bit better, we're going to do player dot character dot name, and then it's car. Because otherwise, we'll just be getting rid of any car which is named that. So um, we're just going to go back to this script here. Actually, no, never mind. We'll go be we'll be yeah. So the spawn car. So local car equals that clone, and now we're going to do car dot name equals player dot dot uh dot character dot name car there we go and then the car dot parent equal game dot workspace okay and now we're gonna do local cloned car equals game dot server storage Wave child car wait no no name of car car clone and then we'll just do car um just destroy <laughs> pretty much and then clone car dot parent equals Gamed or workspace, but of course, cloned uh, cloned car dot name equals player dot character dot name and then car. There we go. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so if we just go to spawn car, there we go. It's here, but I think now if we do respawn car, 
Okay, that's fine. We'll just have to figure it out. If we just go to down here, and don't go to T, to where is that going? Right? So, that's that, that car. That car, interesting. Okay, I think we're going to move all of this, all this money thing. Into the respawn bit. So, which we have a respawn here. So, what we're going to do, if, then we, oh yeah, we'll have to just take the price of the local item here. Then just get one up one of these ends. Just put it like that. Okay, and then so also... Like that. Let's put an end there. I don't think we need this price of item at the moment, so... We're, we're just going to... Just to make this work, we're going to do so equals minus 250 so that okay we're just gonna get rid of this bit here just gonna put a little weight here let's say 0 0.5 uh, player dot leader stats dot money dot value minus equals five, um, no, 250 Then we're just going to change this to the same here, just like that. Actually, we're just going to get rid of this. But we're going to do clone car dot cars and then wait for child. So that might be what has happened here. 31, we're just going to get rid of this line since at the moment it's just 250. And we'll we'll give it another go. Okay, so start the car. There we go. And if we respawn car, and there we go. So 2.5 seconds, and then our money gets taken away. So that is how you that's how you, that's how you do it. So this way, if you keep respawning it, your money's get taken away, and it's not going to be laggy, and it, you know it won't fill up, and you won't be able to do it forever like I've seen people do. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's how you fix this, that's how you fix this, this is the advanced thing. Um, so yeah, make sure to like, leave a like, please subscribe and watch my other videos to make sure that you can remake Brookhaven pretty much, or remake a town and city game. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.